Hey, welcome back to the Hot Heels and Tea Podcast. I'm Crystal Lee. This is Rianda. And y'all, today we are joined by the beautiful hey. Sherelle Ort Dow. Hey, how Kitty you doing? All right. <laughs> so she does quite a bit of stuff. She does a lot. All right. These are some of her pieces in the bag. But mm -hmm. before we kick off into all those good stuff, we want you to share a brief background, background about who you is, what you do, all that stuff. Okay. okay. Well, I am okay. Sherelle, the art doll. As mm -hmm. you know, I have a studio gallery space on Del Mar Lou. Um, I'm a painter, a muralist. Um, some can say I'm an alchemist. I am <laughs> a, a mother. Um, I'm a... Like I am a woman of many talents, but yeah. right now I am currently pursuing tattooing. So okay, I see you got a tattoo of a high heel on your wrist. Yeah. Oh, it definitely matches my because I'm a girl's girl. I'm a girly girl. Oh look, can you do me? I can. I actually can. You want to get matching tattoos? I, I got one. See, whoa! <laughs> Why you leave me out? Oh, I've been had this long time. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's funny, it's in the same I've been yeah. there a long time. Oh, that'll... Do y'all know, I'm like, I'm covering up my ankle. I mean, I'm covering up my wrist. <laughs> you, should get, you should get a, a stripper tattoo heel. Really? I don't know, because I want to collect stripper heels because I think they're so sexy. Yeah. You know, whatever I... I yeah. yeah, just for, like, room decor. Yeah. Okay. Like how people have, like, What's tennis shoes. My eye was operation? Yeah. <laughs> for tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> listen, that's listen. Right. Okay, that's what's stripping. Okay. Right. 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 Ta the, the tattoo. The, 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 the tattoo. <laughs> Wait one minute, baby. We're talking about tattoo. Okay. What is your hours for a tattoo? I got some dollars. Okay. okay. <laughs> I want to. I got some heels to what size you wear? I wear seven. No, I, yeah, seven. Oh, no, mine's too big. I was like, I got some heels from Pleasure. Yep. I, yeah. You know what the thing is? I wouldn't wear them myself. I just want to put them up like a, like, yes. a trophy. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I think they're just safe like the cool. door. Yeah. Like, put the little shelves on the wall. Yeah, like how like, dudes mm -hmm. used to do the tennis shoes. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I have some videos. Yeah. Like, some floating yeah. shelves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just want like one really cute, expensive stripper. Ooh. Yeah. I have to get that tattoo ASAP. Yeah. That yeah, is dope. Do, but appointment only. Okay. You come to my private studio and I'll okay. definitely do you. All right. She's going to do me a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> you want to tattoo, right? It's going left. Yeah, out of control. I be having no heels on, though. I might can show you, you know, okay. a couple of twists, a couple of turns and stuff. Yeah, she okay. gets you together. You still got to pay for your tattoo. Okay. I know what you're you trying to do. Bartering. 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 Bartering, actually. Mm -hmm. So, how yeah. much would a tattoo like that cost? Well, my minimum starts at $100. All right. No problem. Because you know what? Yeah, so I, I, remember when we went. Yeah, I was about to say that we were yeah. in Philly. Probably something this big was like two heads. What is it? It's this. It's this one. It's my daughter's name, mm -hmm. Angela. And they were like, "It's a hundred dollars for this tattoo." I was like, "Uh, uh." She, she was like, me. "I'm like, that's normal." She's like, "That's, that's normal." Like, yeah. But all my tattoos I got were in a house, mm -hmm. yeah. like over yeah. twenty years ago. When yeah. they be like, "Give me ten dollars," and yeah. I put that work. I got a free tattoo, work. baby. So I understand. Yeah, yeah. And, I, yeah. and I get in until I got into the tattoo yeah. industry. And then when I started working around individuals, like we went to a tattoo convention one time in Chicago. Yeah. And um, my mentor at the time tattooed some some lady. She was just like. Oh, I just want you know them dandelion things you blow mm -hmm. and the, yeah. like the little things. Yeah. yeah so she cute. just wanted the one that blows off into like it's like it was like a micro tattoo. She just wanted something this big, and uh, my mentor charged her three hundred dollars for it, and it took her literally like five minutes to do this tattoo. Oh, she man. made three hundred dollars under five minutes. But the same with me, like um, I can tattoo something mm -hmm. that'll take me five, like ten minutes to do, and I'm still it's going to be a hundred dollars. So right. like I can make your minimum. Your prices are your prices. My prices are my prices. So it's, being a tech it's your artist, shop minimum. Yeah. So yeah. being a tech Everybody. artist is like it is like me if I had to pay for it. So I'm like. <laughs> 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 But well, at least you honest, though. At least you been honest. She I wouldn't pay for it, heart. but you <laughs> got to pay for it. <laughs> I need to pay my pay for it without yes. a blink of an eye. Yep, you know, got your Lamborghini customers. You, yeah. you, you got to learn your people. Yeah. And don't yep. people. No, yep. no shade to the people that don't want yep. pay it, but I, that's how I stay afloat. Because I think, yeah, this, this high heel was $100. I never I think seen this was $100. I never even seen a high heel It's a shop minimum. Yeah, shop minimum. It's like you can't. It's a lot of people shop minimum because they have to give them $50. Okay. me, y'all. Um, so, so. one hundred percent proceeds <laughs> come to, to me. me. So, okay. what came first? We're celebrating the Black Business. So, mm. what came first, tattooing or painting? Painting. What inspired you to kick off with painting? Oh, 
um, life. Like, I just, I always loved painting because it was like a, um, a easy grade mm -hmm. in school. But then I went through like a traumatic experience with one of my ex-lovers that mm -hmm. like burnt down my apartment. Mm -hmm. And then, um, oh, man. but your paintings is all right. Oh, I wasn't painting at the time. Oh, it okay. drove me to start painting because <laughs> okay. I was like trying to find a relief. Really? Yeah. So I was just oh. like, oh, like I just wanted to find an alternate reality. Yeah. So that's when I started like, painting and started creating. Um, yes. Just to get my mind off of things because I was like mm -hmm. seeing a psychiatrist because yeah. I thought like I, I was like um, suffering from like paranoia. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, PTSD, all that. Yeah. 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 So I traumatized. Were you there or were, were you? I wasn't there, but it was okay. like. Was it an attempt on you? Yeah. Type it was of situation. Left the gas burning. And then, like, take you out. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's funny now. It's funny now, you can always look back and laugh at that. It wasn't even ever that serious. Uh, he, but was, he was, he was crazy. serious. He was he crazy. need to share his name so we know I'm not, not to. I'm not, because, you know, I'm not. We serious. need to know not. He a perfect. What's that way from that one? What's the purple that starts fire? I see a paro. Uh, uh, um, paramania. Para he, he's done. <laughs> we need to stay away from that one. But, you know, he cool. Like, you know. Today. Yeah, he cool because without like that, and I was just a wild person back then. Too, mm. but, so but then you know it was like flattery with my dumb ass. Like, mm. oh, he loves. He me. sent me flowers and oh, <laughs> and fire. fire. <laughs> it's a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> But no, it's cool. It kind of, um, you know, every relationship and situation should kind of, you, I like to just take the good and mm -hmm. like, yeah. it turned me into an artist, more mm -hmm. of the story. Like, it was traumatic, mm -hmm. but without that situation, mm -hmm. it, I probably wouldn't be the art doll right now. Okay. So dope. Yeah. Your gold is fire. Thank yeah, you. I want an opal. Let's go get us some goals. I, I got a gold piece. Goals and tattoos. So can I, I be the third? Yeah. 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 Look, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the tattoo got to be free. That is your mission. Okay, let me co-host once, and then the tattoo can be free. Just stay. Just stay. Just stay. Just stay. Just stay. Just stay. Yeah. So I'll get my free tattoo. Exactly. Right. Um, <laughs> what I was going to mention, um, painting came first, and you said what inspired that, what inspired you to kick off with tattooing. And do you have any tattoos that you did on yourself? Yeah, I do. But um, most of the ones I did myself was my, like, my lower bodies and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I did this candle. Um, it's a burning, in, a, a double-sided burning candle. Mm -hmm. What I that mean? That, yeah. It means you're burning, like, it at both ends. I mean, you wake up late. I mean, you wake up early and mm -hmm. go to sleep late. Mm -hmm. Like, so you just mm -hmm. always... Burn the midnight oil? Like, kind of? <laughs> Kind of. it, it seemed like that's right. It's like, like you, you know, you steadily doing stuff all night. It's like you, you gotta you, get up early. Yeah, yeah, same. It's thing. like a, 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 a disservice to yourself. Yeah, kind of, kind of like you just always on the go, like you just burning at both ends. All right, so I need that too. So she gotta stay for two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> she was say for two episodes, I got two tattoos. I want to yeah. get a, I want to get a double candle yeah. burner. I want to get a high that heel. Is, that is you for sure. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna get a high heel right here. Yeah, just like a teardrop, but a high heel. Like a teardrop high heel. Late here. night, early mornings. <laughs> okay. So you are a stripper and you're a killer. Oh, oh know that. Oh, yes, that's gonna be dope. <laughs> no, that's we're looking dope. for old oh boy, the pyro. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't looking for you. You, ain't looking for you say, you say away for us. You said King. No, nah, I probably was just you. You said you was hot. <laughs> it wasn't me. It was, it was outside. But you did. No, you did say it was. You, was you said you was. You was outside. You said hey, I admit. No, what what she did say was she admitted Look at that she thought it was flattering. Yeah. Or oh, you didn't yeah, take the no. serious how serious and crazy that is. Yeah, I didn't take that's the But that don't mean you were toxic. I mean, yeah, well, that means something. No, uh, I was toxic because it wasn't like I wasn't like, <laughs> toxic. Yeah, I was like just one second. But Crystal, like, you we know yeah, yeah, I know Crystal's delusion. It'd be so, my journal. Yeah, like it really it's wasn't. It probably was delusional. Yeah, I know she's delusional. Yeah, I know she is. It's a safe space, though. Right? <laughs> and today, I really think that was love. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's her she's gonna be in a journal today. Yeah. yeah, I said lie quotation. Yeah. Lie. <laughs> I didn't think it was flattery. I did mm. think it was crazy. I 100 percent thought it was crazy, but I already I knew him. I knew his spirit. I knew his character. I yes. knew. I understand what you're well, saying. Well, you know what I'm saying. So it's just like what's your sign? He just tried to fly. Oh, he just shot. Um, he just tried to light my heart on fire. No, he wasn't trying. He did, but he just shot. But like I said, it up. made me the woman that I was today. It so. made me to be more cautious, yeah. more yeah. Like, aware, vigilant, and yes. made me become the beauty so, in it today. Yeah, you have to take every bad experience and take and the see the good, good. Yep. Out of it. and yep. grow from it. Because if you mm -hmm. don't, then you will be stuck where you were. Like are. Chuck. Yes. Yeah, I'm stuck like Chuck. Mm -hmm. Okay, so boom. We know. Chuck, by the way, we don't know. No one knows. We know you tattooed <laughs> yourself a couple of times, but what inspired you to tattoo? Period. Oh yes. So I wanted to. So I've been painting 
on canvases and yeah. walls and different um, mediums for mm -hmm. years. Yeah. So I wanted to immortalize my my art yeah. by immortalization is putting it on skin. And when you, this, I have a morbid personality, but when you leave, yeah. you know, your, your ink stays on your body yeah. until you like deteriorate mm -hmm. and wither away. But it wasn't nothing like that, but I just wanted a walking canvas. Were so you like, nervous? What better than advertisement than the By skin? you yourself. Were you nervous to do it? Yeah. I wasn't. Um, I wasn't. People, not, um, mm -mm, because it's like, um, just like with anything, people be nervous to paint because they feel like they can't correct their mistakes. Mm. With tattooing, um, I don't grow outside of myself too soon. Okay. So I stay within myself and what I'm comfortable and confident in doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so I'm not going to be like, if you be like, oh, can I have a whole portrait down my leg? Mm -hmm. I don't fucking know how to tattoo portraits. Okay. So I would not do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't do it for the money. I do it for the passion. What's your strong suit with tattooing, Dan? I'm a fine line tattoo artist. With so a I do um, really skinny, like delicate, dainty mm -hmm. lines or whatever. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. mm -hmm. And so it's girly girl. Like, girly girl. Yes. Yeah. So all of my tattoos are feminine and like, um, just really skinny lines where you can like barely see the lines that kind of like fade away. So that's my strong suit. And that's surrealism, which is reality mixed with fantasy. Ooh, so I, I create these little, um, I remember that word in art. I remember that word in art. <laughs> I create these little voodoo dolls, um, that symbolizes growth being broken and re like rebirth. I was going to ask you that. I was going to say with your art, your art style is a different type of style. And like what kind of, what I'm trying to say, what 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 are you trying to get out to people through your art? Mm, what's the what message? Kind of message? Um, a lot of my art pieces are faceless, and they are um, mm. also like they're all looking like dolls, because as you know, my name is the art doll. Mm. And with the dolls, I feel like if we were to like as humans, if we were to characterize ourselves and turn ourselves into a character, we would be like dolls. And then like mm -hmm. when we like break and we go through stuff, we always have to like sew ourselves back together and like pick up the pieces of mm -hmm. what we've been through. So if we were to be a character, we would be stitched up. If we was to have the pins in us of how we got stabbed in the backs, so those would be the pins that symbolize us like the pins and voodoo dolls and things mm -hmm. of that nature. That's awesome. So I created it in my art and I just learned how to turn stuff into like little voodoo dolls i don't like to say that right because some people think of, no, I you know, exactly what voodoo is not it, I think it's, it's a, not a bad thing not, at all it's, it's just something that we were kind of taught we were taught that by people that told mm -hmm. us that told us that voodoo was yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like how it's I don't be for like experience. it's normal natural it's hard to it's, because we're all born with gifts yeah and our gifts are through our spirits and our mm -hmm. energy so yeah. that's a part of that it's not about yeah. we have those gifts still we just don't know how to tap into them because mm -hmm. we don't have that knowledge because of our brain not having the capacity to you deep see i'll yeah. be trying to get that deep with people because a it's lot hard. of these surface level yep. don't even want to like uh, yeah but her girl you can know. you can share your knowledge yeah okay, we got yeah. we hurt to learn yeah. <laughs> do you do cover-ups I don't do cover-ups. Okay. Um, if it's like a, <laughs> how many do you have? What are you trying to cover up? Okay. How many names? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's talk after the podcast. Okay. I'm trying to look. I'm filling out an application now. <laughs> so I'm going to see you for like two months because we got my girl I got I got to book three appointments by right. I did, right? <laughs> Shake my hand. Hey, oh, yeah, I got that on camera. So she's going to do three podcast <laughs> episodes. <laughs> Hey, I got cover up, I got high heel, I got candles. You just signed yourself over to me. Yes. She signed herself up for death row. I, I, I can death help you with the heels, heels yeah, though. Yeah. I can help you with the heels too. Okay. I can take her there for you. Okay. All right. See? And you do my tattoos. So you was a stripper. I'm not a uh -huh. stripper. I do heel. I teach a heels class. Uh -huh. Yeah. You got some good legs for that. Thank you. They're my, okay. These my money makers. Really? Yes. So you have to have a money making tattoo on you. The heels is the money making. Yeah, what else? Sexy. I want to, so, all right, it's not about me, but real, real, real quick. <laughs> I didn't want to ever get a tattoo on my legs because my legs have always, that's going to be your cover up. Okay. So my legs have always been like, <sighs> To people, you know what I mean? Like but I, I got beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> but I welcome to do anything on my arms. And, oh, okay. Yeah, wherever you find space at. Okay. Yep, these my girls, all of them on my. Okay. 
That's my consultation oh, on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this, is why, this is where I would like to get it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to cover some stuff up over here. Bad, so bad. when the legs do show, it's going to be beautiful. It'll be sexy. Yeah. Yeah. That would be dope. All right. Back to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She plays so well. <laughs> Back to you. Okay, so how many years have you been um, painting? How many years have you been tattooing? I've been painting for 10 years. I've okay. been tattooing for two years. I've been a licensed tattoo artist for two years. That's so freaking dope. Yes. Yeah. What's next for you? Um, I'm actually... I want to pick your brain. It's, it's so beautiful. Is it? Yes, it is. It's my head little... No. Yeah, it's, they be the little ones. Um, is it? Look, you got a little head. Be them little ones. I got a big <laughs> forehead. My head little though. My forehead big too. No, it's not, not bigger than mine. You want to do a head button composition? No, what you do is... Can you, can you get all four fingers and put them here. I'm the one to touch my face. <laughs> and if you can get your your hand it's like the this. Test. Test. Yes, and but your fingers, your hand, it has... It cannot touch your eyebrows. Or your hairline so if you can put all the fingers here can you do your thumb too because i can even put my thumb there and my hand would not touch my eyebrows or my I hairline don't know where my eyebrows is today i drew them on yeah you're right you're right you got to kind of wipe off yeah, our eyebrows probably like right here we are <laughs> back on subject forehead probably really like this <laughs> big. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got a I mean, Me too. We all got ADHD. Uh, this is gonna be, okay. it's gonna be everywhere. You asked her how long? How long? Oh, what's yeah. next? You asked what's her next? next? Because oh, her, she, okay. it seems like talking to you, talking to Daisha, y'all have such beautiful minds. Yeah. And I love talking to people that I can just see, like I, I really admire. Okay. Right. And hearing how you started with painting, tattoo, just how you elaborate, it's like, oh, I want to hear more. So I want to know what's next for you. What's in your mind? Um, what's next for me is I want to do, no, I'm not going to say want. I'm going to mm -hmm. start a nonprofit organization mm -hmm. for, it's going to call the Art Art Doll, mm -hmm. Art Dow, nonprofit organization mm -hmm. for um, inspiring young artists and tattoo Ooh, artists. So it's going to be dope. from like the ages of six to like 12. Ooh. And it's just going to teach them how they can have a career in the future as being an artist. Okay. And um, so right now, since it's just me, it's just going to start up um, teaching young tattoo inspiring tattoo artists and mm -hmm. painters how they can turn their their dreams or not their dreams their talents into a business because like when we are in school um they don't teach us like oh you can be an artist you can okay, make a living option. from it and yeah. stuff like mm -hmm. that like no one tells you how much money you can make mm -hmm. as a tattoo artist mm -hmm. tattoo artists can make the same amount of money as a doctor makes they're like, really frowned key. upon for real it is frowned upon yeah. yeah like that's another story no Man, they are tattoo artists are oh, yeah. yeah like mm -hmm. It's like the black sheep of the family, like a lot, of, especially oh. sometimes it, they're really no. Yeah, because like, it's not a... It's like a, oh, you think you're going to be a dancer? Dancers don't make any money. Huh? Yeah. It's, it's like a, <laughs> it's, like, it's like taboo. <laughs> so it's deep like, to me. <laughs> it's taboo. Like, it's yeah. like, um, oh, you're a tattoo artist. They be like, huh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it it's not a, it's not a respectable career. Okay. okay. But I want to teach children that being, or, and being an artist, mm -hmm. because they look at it, like stuff that you don't have to go to school mm -hmm. for, they yeah. frown up on it. They That's look at true. it like because but, they the government wants you to go to school so mm -hmm. they can so you can get in debt so you can pay for loans and but you, you can do go to school for art too though, don't you? To perfect. I'm self taught. Okay. I'm a self taught but one thing, artist. One That's thing like, about yo, art though, so dope. It's like that mindset. Like what we yeah. talked about with Daisha and poetry mm -hmm. is like these things are that's instilled in you. Those are those mm. gifts that's already bound in you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just like um, I was talking to somebody about people cutting hair, people doing mm. makeup. That's yeah. artistry. That you is. Know, that's yes. the, because you can do your own makeup, but mm -hmm. that don't mean you can do somebody else's makeup. You, right. know, you have to want to make somebody else look as good as you make yourself. Yeah. So it's yeah. everybody don't got that because I ain't got that. Mm -hmm. I ain't even <laughs> think about <laughs> asking if you were self-taught. Girl, yeah, I am self-taught artist. And so then if you know, to, um, a lot of tattoo <laughs> artists, well, I have a mentor, yes. but a lot of tattoo artists are self-taught. A yeah. lot of tattoo artists start in jail. They yeah. burn. They mm -hmm. build their own machines. They make their own ink. Right, right. They tattoo. And then those are some of the world's best tattoo artists. Yeah. They, mm -hmm. Of course, they like spend more time doing it. Yeah. But I started learning how to tattoo on fruits. Ooh. So I was. What kind of fruit? <laughs> it was oranges. <laughs> like y'all about, about to see my Insta stories, me with a gun, <laughs> with an orange. Making a high heel. That's what y'all about to see on Insta stories. Gonna say one line. Right. Y'all gonna see me at the market every Saturday. Give me your biggest oranges. Right. I'm gonna eat these grapefruits. Yes. 
I'm graduating. Yep. Yes. That is so you like to host. Yeah. Tell everybody about your art gallery. Yes. Mm. My art gallery is um, on Denmark Loop. It's six, mm. 6277 on Denmark Loop. It's a cute little shotgun space. Mm. It kind of reminds me of New Orleans when you go to it. Because mm. um, it's so shotgun. It's like long. Um, it's on the corner. Mm. And you can come in there and buy art. Mm -hmm. um, I do paint and silks there. Like mm. it's called That's what I tell you. Yeah. Yep. So I do um, paint and sips there. But like normally like the business hours. I don't have business hours because mm. I am um, appointment only. Mm -hmm. But there is just like a tattoo gallery right now so it's a licensed tattoo space but it also holds my art and people come in and shop art mm -hmm. and i have a confinement shop so i have other artists that sign contracts that um mm -hmm. that's dope they have some stuff on display as well mm -hmm. so it's it's a cute little spot and i also do poetry night there like yeah i have wow. um every last sunday i do poetry nights and it's just like i have um yoga and poetry coming up so it's like it's just a cute little spot that hosts a lot of stuff okay but mainly just cool. my tattooing and um my artist on the wall so do you have any events coming up yeah um please don't ask me the dates but if you okay. go on my website you can see it or follow me on the instagram mm -hmm. but um i do i have yoga and tattoos that's coming up and i have Valentine's day with me and my friend Valentine's yeah. day. what day that's on actually um the 14th oh okay. because like when you own a business like holidays is you just it's all about the consumer <laughs> yeah i'll yeah. yeah. be like are you in love today yeah, right. i have something for you right yes <laughs> <laughs> Because, like, Gala Sounds Day, right? Yeah. Um, it's for the single ladies or whatever. And I was like, telling my boyfriend, I'm just like, oh, this is, uh, I'm doing Gala Sounds Day at my shop. But he was just like, and then with my friend, mm -hmm. my best friend, she's a tattoo artist too. Mm -hmm. And she, she's married, happily married with kids mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And he was just like, Neither one of y'all are single though. But you don't have to be single to yeah, celebrate Gala. Like, it's for girlfriends. It's yeah. for friends. So we yeah. celebrated. We've been celebrating for like the past maybe three, four years, years with our uh, friend. And mm -hmm. every year. And I love it. I yeah, love every year. see like people doing Valentine's Day brunches. Yeah. yeah. I think it's really important for mm -hmm. females. Yeah, it's about just womanhood, yeah. sisterhood. Yeah, well, yeah. And then they, those those they always bring a gift. And so yeah. I would rather do Valentine's Day. I got a gift for y'all too. I said I might have to go get a gift this year. They always bring a gift. I got a gift. Well, I'll be working. Can, right. can I get a cover up <laughs> tattoo? Can I get my like, candle? Get like, cover up. I can't, well, dang, you said it. Okay. I'm trying to exchange services. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, you could come. All right. Yeah, you can come. Is. Yes. You, yes, you can come. Oh, I'll make sure. Girls to the studio. Everybody get tattoos. I ain't got nothing going on on Valentine's Day. I'd be there. Like this. <laughs> I need a tattoo. I want to feel pain. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> well, real quick, before we end this episode, um, you did mention that um, you can find more details about you on your website. Also on Instagram, can you provide your website? Mm -hmm. Shout out your social media platform where people can find you. Yes, yes um, it's the underscore art dal on Instagram. That's T-H-E underscore A-R-T-D-O-L-L -L on Instagram. And on my website is www.theartdoll.net. Yay! So y'all make sure y'all go check her out. Make sure she has her Galatine's Day um, event, event coming up, up. Tattoos and Yoga. Um, single, not single, girl, sisterhood, Anybody friendship, come. whatever. Okay. Come out, support, okay? Have and a good time. Thank y'all for listening to the Hot Heels and Tea Podcast. Thank you.